boys and girls, it's Pastor Hope. I am in my lab today. We've been doing lessons that have little science um, projects with them that help us grow closer to the Lord. So I decided why not build a lab because I keep on doing them in Zoom and I'm trying to show you everything and it's just not working. So um, I built a lab and we are going to do something really fun um, with some of this stuff on my lab table. Um, but before that, we're going to read in 1 Timothy, in 1 Timothy chapter 1. So go get your Bible. It's not going to be on the screen like we do sometimes, so go get your Bible. 1 Timothy chapter 1, uh, verses 12 through um, 19 today. So Paul is writing to Timothy. Um, so here, as we read, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to give you the actual memory verse at the end. So here we go. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has given me strength that he considered me faithful, appointing me to his service, even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly, along with faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom all the, the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy. So that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus, might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would be, believe in him and receive eternal life. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, and the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Timothy, my son, I give you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by following them, you might fight the good fight, holding on to faith and good conscience. Some have received these and so have shipwrecked their faith. So, boys and girls, in this writing from Paul, he is talking about how he was did a lot of bad things, right? He was making mistakes and doing things that are sinful, but God still showed him mercy. That is the gift that we get, right? We, if we accept Christ and ask him as our personal savior, we get that mercy too. And Paul was writing to Timothy to make sure he followed the directions. Now our memory verse today is going to be um, chapter 1, verse 15 through 17. Now, I know that's long. So, boys and girls, even if you get part of it and send your recording to me, I will mail you a prize. So, we're going to read that, just that little portion right now. Verses 15 through 17. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into this world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy, so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who believe on him and receive eternal life. Now, Paul's talking about himself, but we are the worst of sinners too, boys and girls. We are all sinners, and we all are supposed to be accepting um, him as our personal Savior. We're confessing our sins, and guess what? I like that part, where Jesus Christ might display his unlimited patience. Wow. I don't know any of you who have unlimited patience, because I sure don't. And isn't that so exciting that today we can accept Christ, and he has unlimited patience even when we mess up? I think that's pretty exciting. Today, we are um, going to do a little experiment. Now, 
we don't see Jesus walking along beside us and granting us patience, right? Like when mom and dad um, grant patience when we do things that are wrong, um, Jesus also granted patience to his disciples and others when he was on earth. But we don't get that privilege, right? We don't get the privilege of seeing him grant us patience. But we have faith and we believe in him. And today we're going to do a little experiment about believing in the unseen, right? If we believe in God and we accept him, we are believing in the truth that the scripture has given us, even though we don't see Jesus standing right next to us. Okay, we're going to get some vinegar and baking soda. Yeah, I got a giant bag of baking soda because every experiment I start doing that I'm going to teach you guys has vinegar and baking soda I know but you know it makes it easy for you at home because most of the time you have vinegar and baking soda in your house so um get your vinegar and baking soda then you're gonna need a balloon and you're gonna need a water bottle an empty water bottle yep mine's empty okay so <laughs> what you're going to need is um, a third of a cup measuring cup and then a teaspoon, measuring teaspoon. I don't have one, so we're gonna go with it. Do you think it'll work out? I don't know, let's figure it out. All right, so you're gonna take your third of a cup, measuring cup. <laughs> um, hopefully your vinegar will open faster than mine did. And we're gonna pour it into your measuring cup and measure it. Now, boys and girls, if you have a funnel, Life's going to be much easier for you for this experiment because I do not. See, I'm spilling vinegar all over myself. So we're going to pour that third of a cup into our water bottle. And I made a mess, so I'm going to add a little bit more um, and add more in here. So see, I put my vinegar in my water bottle. Now, <laughs> there's a mess in my lab. Um, and we are going to get a third. Oh, no. I said a fourth. No, I said two teaspoons. <laughs> We're going to get it right when we did. So you're going to put two teaspoons of baking soda in your water bottle. Now, while we're doing this, there's some bubbling going on. Look at that. I got to hurry. I got to hurry. There's some bubbling going on. Now, what it's creating is something unseen, something we can't see right just like we can't see god when G and jesus isn't walking along with us like he did with the disciples we are um unable to see what's going on in here now we see some bubbles but do you think these bubbles are the only thing making the balloon get bigger mm, i don't think so there's something in here unseen there is a gas in here it's called carbon dioxide and maybe if we put more baking soda it would get bigger but that's what's happening but the point today boys and girls is that we remember just because we can't see god or we can't see things doesn't mean they don't exist right we know god exists we believe in the truth and our memory verse today is in first timothy Verses of um, chapter 1, verse 15 through 17. And just one little part it says in there that Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. Boys and girls, we don't see him, but he still gives us unending patience, right? He still gives it to us. So you know what? We don't have to see to believe because we have faith and we know that God is by our side. So boys and girls, I encourage you to go do that memory verse. Um, it's 1 Timothy ver chapter 1 verses 15 through 17. Like I said, it's long. It's really long. So if you can't memorize it, just have mom and dad record you say um, reading it to me. All right. I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.